Hi, Larry, WD0AKX. This is kind of a continuation of my last video where I showed you about loop antennas, both commercial and homemade uh, loop antennas, how they work with your portable radio to improve the reception. And in this video, I'm going to take it one step farther and going to show you how to turn your loop antenna into a crystal radio set that will receive nearby AM radio stations. Oh, if they're within a few miles, five or six miles maybe, uh, you'll be able to use this as a portable crystal radio with no ground or long wire antenna. Now with crystal radios, the range is very limited, but there's no batteries required. They're powered by the signal off the radio station itself, so uh, they just run 24-7. No batteries required. They'll always work for you if you're close by to the station. Now, if you are a prepper, this could be something handy to have on hand, provided your local AM radio station stays on the air. So first of all, this is what I showed you in the last video, if you've seen that video, on how the loop is designed to improve reception on your portable AM radio. And they do work. Now here's a look at my loop that I built several years ago. There's plenty of plans out there, more about that later. But this is the additional circuit I added. There's a germanium diode there, glass diode, audio jack, and resistor. And then uh, they're tied into my variable capacitor here. Now I'm just using one section of this gang capacitor, variable capacitor, I took out of an old tube radio at one time. And you do need a high impedance ear set or earphones. Uh, the standard 8 ohms will not work. So I'll hold the earphone up as best I can to the camera mic, which won't be good, but let's take a listen. You will hear something. You might have to turn it up a little. If you were to plug this into a guitar amp, you would have full volume. Okay, here's a basic diagram of what I have. Basically everything above this dotted line is the loop antenna by itself without the addition to make it into a crystal radio set. So you have your loop, a turn of uh, several turns of wire, and then you have your variable capacitor that you use to tune the loop. And that's a 365 picofarad that I have. I've, um, I've just used uh, one section of an old uh, AM tube type radio uh, tuning capacitor for that and my loop is made up of uh, 27 turns of wire and I have eight and a half inches on a side now you can look up uh, how to construct AM radio broadcast loop antennas on the internet to find the detailed plans there's several out there and uh, I'm not going to go into all the details there on that right now but there's plenty of plans and also look up AM broadcast band loop calculator and you'll find plenty of information to build the basic loop if you want to do that or you can use a commercial loop that's already out there and attach this. So everything below the dotted line is my simple circuit that I added to turn this into a crystal set. So I added a, a germanium type diode, a glass type, 1N34, I made that an A. And if you use any other type of diode, this is not going to work for you. It does have to be a germanium type diode uh, to be able to uh, decode the signal and demodulate the signal. And I added a 47k ohm resistor here. This may not be necessary for you, but in my case I do live very close to the station, about a mile from the tower, and by Putting a resistor here, it does put a DC load on the circuit to eliminate distortion. So uh, anything oh, between a 33K and a 100K ohm resistor would be fine here. And for the headset or headphones, you can use any type of high impedance type headset or earphones. Now this is high impedance crystal type earphones. If you use the common 8 ohm type earphones, it will not work. It does have to be high impedance type earphone. So basically, that's the circuit. Uh, add that to your loop and you might be surprised what you hear. So all there is to tuning in the station is rotate the dial until you hear something and also 
uh, point this towards the station, usually that way or that way, and you will know by just adjusting for best reception. And I guess I didn't show it in the diagram, but I decided to add a, an audio jack here that I can just plug in my earphones to. Makes it nice and simple if I want to use this as a standalone loop or as a crystal set. And also, as you can tell, I chose to use the ugly construction method here. Nothing fancy. So I guess this could have been the Sony Walkman type radio of the early 1900s. Just need a belt clip here. So have fun with your loop projects, and we'll see you again soon. 7-3. Hi, Larry, WD0AKX. This is a kind of a continuation of the little UVDF.